same place like that. Sounds pretty sensitive. So people have parties. Huh? They have parties here. See there. What did she ask? What did she ask? What did she ask? He started playing. What is Tyler? Say hello. Say hello. What's your start? Hello. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is day, what day is it? Day five. Day five of our Satana cuisine. So, Miss Lou, can you kindly tell us what you're preparing today? What you prepared today? Today we are having Sam. Sam, yeah. Okay. Sam and okay. stew. Okay. And then this is bad food. All right. Yeah. Then, uh, what what's in the stew? The stew is the vegetables. Uh huh. Green pepper, carrot, and onion. All right. And a bit of spice. And a bit of spices. Yeah. Okay. A lot of spice first. So Q, being the husband, have you tasted the the scent? Yeah. She's allergic to it. And how's it? It's very delicious. Uh -huh. My wife cooks delicious food always. Delicious meals always. Really? Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's nice. And the way she dishes, it's always appropriate. Yeah. Like she went to school for this. Anyway. Are you serious? Yeah. Tell us about it. Yeah, she went to college for this. Uh huh. So she has completed. So. Definitely, you don't eat outside. We do eat out sometimes. Uh -huh. yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. But you like. Home. Why will I eat out when I have everything here? But you like home cooked. I like when my wife cooks. Oh, and what are you dishing out there? This one is corn spinach. Okay. I don't want it. Yeah, I want. I want. <laughs> you, you, before even you, you already eating before anything else. We know that we are the men of the house, but but I know the but but, but sometimes you just have to wait. Mm. Yes, please. Represent word. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say? Uh, today was a great day. Mm -hmm. Just finishing off, uh -huh. it off with some some um, cream spinach, oh, rice, and then beef stew and beetroot. Uh huh. Yeah. Then we will be going for an interview after this. Uh huh. Then we'll see where it gets us. Maybe we'll have a beer or two. Okay. Yeah. Then yes. we'll see what happens. The night is still young, but it's a bit night. Oh, all right. So it will be an early bed tonight. And you? Yes, please. I need it. Yeah. <laughs> I need it. That's how I know our meal looks like. Yeah. Yes. For the king himself, Ron, you can see the. Paper. How can Ron take the king, the, the king throne? Yeah. Why is he overthrowing the real king? And then no, the Ron is the, the king throne. I am the king. Yeah. The man of the house. Yeah. Yes. Are you getting something there? Hmm? Get some glasses and pour. Ron, you need some rum. Um. <laughs> Some wine. We have wine. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We've got red wine. Yeah. Yeah. You can come through actually. I think she's done. <sighs> yes. Look, JD, put him on camera, JD. He's always. Hi, JD. Hello, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. 
what you taste and then tell us how it tastes. We got the king queen. Thank you. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Yeah. It's hard sleeping every day. It's hard it's sleeping, sleeping all the time. Uh -huh. I'm just feeling rested mm -hmm. from New York after New York. This is uh, this is pup. No, this is a um, It's corn, boiled corn. Sam. Yeah. This is spinach. Mm -hmm. This Prince is spinach. Beetroot. Ah, you slice up the beetroot and put a little. Um, how does it do? Ah, oh, you're a master chef. Hmm. That's Miss Luke. Small, small. Let's see how you're doing. Mm -hmm. Where's the wine, my friend? You need wine? Mm -hmm. Not juice. Wine and juice. Okay. We are a beast. So far, it's like the juice. And I'll pour the wine for you. This is Wakanda dinner. Yes. Ready to lash. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for the. Uh, 99% carrot juice. 99? Why did you leave only one? <laughs> Why did you leave only one? There's right? something in there There's we carrot don't juice. Know. Can I see the box? Yeah. Carrot and pineapple. Alright. Alright. Last drop. Mm -hmm. No, I have to find the gym. Hmm? I have to find the gym. Just there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was a rested day. Looking for beer? No. <laughs> Bush wine. Let's, let's see. <laughs> See that glass over there. We did good. We started. Yes, there it is. Yes. And all that. Yes. The juices. Yes, I'm going to have one or two. Well, this one you have to chase it with. Um, you can chase it with something. The wine? No. No. You're drinking it dry? Yes. So I should fill up? Yes. No, no. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right, all right, all right. Just, <laughs> you want to do it? Mm -hmm. I don't want you to start sticking in towns. You want ketchup? Ketchup. You want ketchup, yes. Uh -huh. So how does it taste? It tastes good. Americans would love you. You see, a man in the West Indies only eats ketchup, not tomato. First, the big one. The big, big one. one, you want the red? The big one? It's good. Is it ketchup? That one is good. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah, it's going for the US. <laughs> It's about the ketchup, they don't sell like this in America, you know? Mm -hmm. like in this is tomato paste, actually. Mm -hmm. Tomato sauce, there's a difference, okay? Oh. Mm. This I like. We eat ketchup in everything. That's for my fermentation. Well, I would love is it? it? Yeah? Mm -hmm. You ever smell it? That's what you eat with the meat. Oh. Mm-hmm. And you call this corn what? Um, it's like a, it's like a, what can I say, processed corn. Mm-hmm. You guys have a lot of energy. Did you? This is good. This one, when you crush it, is the one that produces the mealy meal. You get me? So in this, in this uh, process, I call it some, stamp, some. Thank you. Yes. Good morning, it's Ronnie in Africa again. <coughs> I hope you're doing good all over the world. Making some breakfast. You know I'm in Africa, gotta cook for my Africans. I'm doing some eggs. <coughs>
Gonna cook some King Royal breakfast in Africa right now. We're dealing with some watermelon and cantaloupe and eggs and and uh, how's the trip so far? I'm gonna get some bread. The trip has been really good. I'm in Botswana right now and uh, my brethren and my sister, they've taken good care of me. Africa is amazing. Food here is very cheap. Very cheap from Botswana. This is where I'm going to live. This is where I'm going to retire. Get me a piece of land. Build my house. And uh, between here and Jamaica. Whoa, look at that. Randy's taking care of the Africans with a royal breakfast. We're going to have some papaya juice. And we're going to have some eggs. Wake up the camera. And uh, take care of the family. Expose them to some tomato. Them really not cook without a tomato. Um, <clears throat> here, turn the stove down a little bit. I'm gonna deal with the tomato thing. So I'm kind of introducing tomato with eggs to them. <clears throat> and some black pepper and salt. You can put a little bit of seasoning salt in there. You know around there how me do it. Some tomato and some onions. Fry the onions first. This is the royal breakfast. <clears throat> Go on there. Turn on the stove and um, keep it nice and lovely. So right now in Africa, the vibe. You want to use a wooden spoon at all times. Always use a wooden spoon. Never use a spatula. You don't want to scrape the bottom of your pot. And you don't want metal in your food. Sometimes when you're making the eggs, all you have to do is take it off to the side and so that it doesn't stick that quickly. Let the pot cook the eggs, all right? You don't let the, the stove cook the eggs. Let the pot cook the eggs. You won't get a burn on your scrambled eggs. Use your wooden spoon and keep on turning. Put your black pepper in there. Now, I'm planning to put a little pepper on the side, spice it up, but let me deal with the pepper, so I have no problem. <clears throat> so you take the pot off the stove, and when you see that it's not cooking it, then you put it back on, get some more heat. That's how you do scrambled egg. You must not keep the pot on the stove. That's the trick to that. <clears throat> All right. I wonder how my people over the world are doing today. I'm in Africa, Randy is traveling the world. Botswana, what's Botswana like? It's like Jamaica when Jamaica was peaceful. Uh, what do I wish for Botswana? A lot more books. I went to the library, there's not enough books there. And uh, the people don't read a lot, they drink a lot, and they like a lot of meat. So we go have to educate them a little bit. Uh, high level of fibroids in Africa, and you know, the Indian, them own all the distribution of food. Some things I find inside the food that they're eating when they don't know the juice, they're not really totally natural. What I find is they have a whole heap of thing in the juice. When I'm now, you see that E331? A lot of things in that them juice, them now pay attention. Basically, them are kill off the black people and them not know. So, we from West Indian and thing, and my family is a health family. When we travel and stuff, we use coconut oil. We try to do that. And we check the juice. And even the ones that are close to natural, the finds in Africa. When you travel and you're drinking juice, be careful. Because these people who control the distribution centers, them no block. So basically, them no care with them. See there? You see tomato? So I'll go and ask for another juice here. E300, we need to find out what that is. So I'll liberate the people in Botswana. This is a close to healthy tomato paste. Tomato juice, really nice. I'm going to use the carrot juice for actual. Um, for actually.
use the carrot juice for actually use for my soup. But that E300, we don't know what that to deal with, so we need to do some Google on that and research that. <clears throat> so, and ketchup really nice, yes, sir. Really love the ketchup quite a bit. But Botswana, man, nice country. You can marry, if you're a Jamaican man, you want to marry into the country. Just make sure you check the HIV rate. Very, one of the highest here in the world. Be careful of yourself. But um, as far as retirement, um, think about a watermelon, a big watermelon, a dollar fifty US, right? Um, to take the taxi, it's like uh, to take it to the youth. They must wash the car out on the order, so you know how much you pay them for wash the car. And pay them five US a month for washing care every day. This right here is probably really cheap. Everything food cheap. You know, washing the truth is cheap. You can pay. <laughs> you can pay 70. You can pay 70 US a month for one room. Or uh, 100 US a month. Ten dollar a month for light bill. Yo, ten dollar a month for light bill. You carry them out two thousand eight hundred US. You can get a nice Subaru. Yo, I'm not telling no Jamaicans. Man and woman, we need, need to. Man and woman come marry into the culture. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the best move to Africa. You get yourself a bus woman, man and woman, just marry into the culture and start setting up your business so what kind of business would work here when you purchase land and build complex of apartments it won't take a lot of money and i show you in another video that's what you do you buy a piece of land and you start building out place and renting it you'll get your rent that's the best way to retire here um their culture of drinking so like if you open up a jamaican restaurant in time it will catch on and make it, uh, you know, appointment only. Make some Escovis fish on some nice Jamaican dish. By appointment and set up a vibe, you can do that. If you set up a club, they might go drink and they might go fight. And, and then it kind of make them like a fight when they drink. So basically the eggs right now. <coughs> government run things, yes, sir. Government run things, they run everything. So have to be careful while you speak out. You have to do the thing subtly. Um, abortion is illegal. You know, man. So the woman wants some woman rights in other place. So man, tell all the powerful Jamaican woman take a visit. Now, how do? You, what's the best way to come to Botswana? If you don't want to take the plane, because it's a very small plane. And when we open out the cloud, man, bread gin, me say, me have to pray, because me never know me gonna make it. So you fly from Johannesburg to Botswana. <clears throat> But I think it's a four hour bus trip. Um, you can check Airbnb and my Bridgens contact and stuff will be, uh, you can reach out to me and I'll give you some contacts to get here. But um, people you can trust, but it's best for you to have someone rent a place for you. You can even rent a car, drive on the left side with your GPS. As far as your phone system, you get a phone that's open and get a little, lot of data and your Google Maps, you download your Google Maps locally, all right? So, Botswana is definitely the place to have peace and tranquility. Johannesburg has a lot more crime, and um, I keep saying this over and over, and Cape Town, beautiful and everything, a lot more crime in Cape Town and the poorer sides. And the richer sides of Cape Town, they have a lot of security. So that's why. But when I talk about crime in Africa, I'm not talking about some petty thing in a way. Man, I bring them gun to rob you, you know. <laughs> Yo, I know drug business in Africa on certain levels, so that's why I'm like Botswana. Nobody now come jack you up with no gun, and the laws are very strict. Marijuana, you're smoking marijuana, you won't get no trouble with them catch you. So very peaceful. Um, this is this is Wakanda for me. I'm going to go to the Congo, but it's best to start learning the language. I'm going to set up a program. They're going to start teaching us the language. 
and we're going to start buying our land here and integrate into the culture. Uh, after my uh, observation through Africa, the best place to integrate into African culture is Botswana. The other places are a little bit on this south side, on this side. Um, Ghana is another great place to integrate. But I know that um, Botswana, as far as I'm concerned, loving, peaceful, crime-free food is very cheap. I like the fact that land is cheap now, food is cheap now. So I advise you to take a trip to Johannesburg, then from Johannesburg, be careful. Leave your expensive phone at home, get yourself a cheap phone and uh, make it open and you could transfer the chip between US and America and uh, travel here with your phone and then open up the, the data and everything and get Wi-Fi and download the Google Maps. That's what I strongly recommend. All right, then we'll finish that up with breakfast and then we come back. That is the scrambled egg breakfast this morning about Boswana. Family's waking up, see what is what. All right, boom, respect, for and love. Okay. If I had a Vitamix, I would blend the seeds for you. Okay. Humans have a problem with taste. Okay. If it don't taste good, then don't like it. Okay. So you hide it by blending everything. Yeah. And then you you take something sweet like pineapple mm -hmm. and bananas, and then you put that in Inside, there and yeah. it kill it, make it taste good. Good, yeah. Banana yeah, and yeah. pineapple make everything taste good. Okay. Mango. So always blend your seeds not too much in what you're doing okay if you can eat your skin eat your skin if you plant it yourself wash it good eat your skin okay one of the most important thing for food is right below the skin here this is the most important thing even with avocado yeah what is um, below the skin and uh, what you call it uh, watermelon yeah so when you're peeling your thing you must peel yes. it lightly lightly yeah just and, and, and just get the top of it the off. top yeah depending on where you get it from yes 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 so it is what is below the skin that is has the information yes the nutrients is on there right yes yes so you must understand that um the bit the most i tell people all my fans the most important thing is your blender yep be a big spender and get a good blender <laughs> i said when you get see, your vitamins see. your wife will be happy yeah you see me as in very happy. You will have a happy wife. All right. You will live a happy life. Life, correct, correct. Your Vitamix, more important than your car. Okay. Your Benz and your Beamer. Yes. Because yes. with your Vitamix, you can show up out the road and say, yo, I have a Vitamix Splendor. And yes. the girl and say, boy, you're a big spender. Yeah, yeah, I like that, I like that. <laughs> you have a Vitamix, so come over and blend some for you, know, baby. Yeah, yeah. You get some tomato, get something, and you blend it for her. She say, whoa, you feel good. Let me show you how good me feel too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. And when you blend the blueberries, I just set out nice and thing. I say, yes, me feel good. Let good, me show yeah. you how me feel like too. Feel good. Yeah. yeah. So now we blend the thing. See it? Mm -hmm. uh, you cut that up and you just eat it every morning and think. So you get the melon for your youth. Your youth must eat this. You see me? If yes. again I had a vitamin blender. Me deal with the seed. Okay. And the seed clean you out and thing. And uh -huh, uh -huh. Even the orange, when you blend an orange, Gotta you feel with half the orange and leave half the skin on. On, oh, yes. Alright? Get you. Fix your gum. Got Strawberry, me. the leaf of it, just uh -huh. wash it. Green leaf and everything. Uh -huh. Blend everything out. Uh -huh. You want the body to get used to this information. The body needs information. Okay. Part of honey has pollen attached to it of course yes so for anti-allergy the raw honey honey is extremely uh, good. raw milk every month when you say raw milk you mean no pasteurization okay the cow directly from the cow directly so the okay. breast of the cow has mm -hmm. something on it when the milk is coming out okay it's balanced with nature yes of course so now your body start knowing this thing mm -hmm. so when the allergy come now but oh i know what that is i won't fight against it so that's why honey and raw milk just for just for information and the leaves of things that's how you fight allergies okay sir and ginger okay dr randy all right okay, so this doctor. is dr randy naturality no complexity but again the vitamix blender will cost you about 500 us but your bins outside is thirty thousand. get you get you you see me your wife about say you know they're long enough <laughs> 
you want to see your boy? I want a divorce. Because you have a Benz, you have a mansion, and you have a piece of little idiot blender. Yeah. But if you be a big spender yeah. and get a Vitamix blender, blender. your wife now left you. Your wife yeah. very happy. You know, your husband very is. happy. Your husband very strong. Say, whoa, hey. The berry where you're putting on this juice got me going. <laughs> All right. Two, three hours you left on it. All right. Said, stop now, stop now. Hey. <laughs> good thing we invest in another blender. Then, no, baby. 55, 56. And different things. All right. Okay. Until next time, get the Vitamix blender. Be a big spender and strength up your thing. And your your wife will never go to another man. You know, want your woman to go to another man and look out the road. Never. All right. Never. Berries. Berries. Vitamix yeah. blender. Now let's eat some uh, next time. Peace out. In Botswana, it's a pretty big mall. The people here are very peaceful. One of the best places in Africa. Um, easy going, cost of living is very low. Um, I met with a minister uh, today and they're loosening up the, the business laws here. So, you know, it's, it's different. It's getting there, you know. So uh, I gotta say, I'm very happy to uh, have come here in Botswana. The people are really nice. It's one of the nicest places in Africa. It's so peaceful and easy going. I got a chance to understand in context based on the development speed they kind of keep people out keep out the west and now they're looking to open up a little bit more so this is uh probably part of what's one of campus <clears throat> so um Quite impressed. Place is very clean. Um, it's not a lot of rush. The weather is around 70 degrees. Um, no one's gonna grab your phone here. No one is begging here. People make salary about 200 US a month and they manage and food is pretty cheap so um you know so no matter what they make it happen so i think uh, that's probably the university campus Yeah. <clears throat> Beside the game city. It's the university campus. Easy going people, you know? Real easy going vibe. Even the men in the trucks, they're just so relaxed. This is a huge mall, it's called Game City. It gets cold in June. July, that's when they have their winter.
That's probably where you can that's the University Youth, you know? Yeah. Next generation.